For our last set of uh, intervallic transpositions, I've chosen to do major sixth intervals and transpose them in major thirds. Obviously, there are endless possibilities, which I encourage you to just take any interval and an, and another interval that you want to transpose it by, and then just go for it and do the brain work and do the finger work, and this will definitely help your overall command of the instrument. So, um, anyway, we'll do the major sixth intervals now. Starting with the first major sixth, and then if I move up in a major third, the next one will be from C, then from E, A flat, C, E. And then re descend the intervals. And then alternate. And then reverse. That's it. Then the next set from A, B flat, and F. And then from B flat, D and F sharp. And then the last set of major sixth intervals that we'll transpose in major thirds will start from the B and then the next interval will start from the E flat and then G. So there we have it. Major sixth intervals transposed in major thirds. So those are just some of the possibilities that we have for uh, creating. This is what I use this for. I create warm up, uh, warm up exercises on the fly. I just decide on an interval. I decide on how I'm going to transpose it, and then I just go for it. And uh, the, the, that makes for a really good warm up exercise because you're also using the brain. I, I don't like the mindless finger exercises. I, I'd rather use the brain and the ears and uh, build my knowledge of the instrument all the while, while I'm just practicing technique, basically.